Once upon a time, there was an ogre named Shrek who lived happily in his swamp with his lovely wife, Princess Fiona. But this would all change because one day when Shrek woke up, he found Princess Fiona gone and a horrible goblin in her place. As Shrek reached for the goblin, furious, it chuckled and dodged the raging ogre's fists. And then an old sorcerer appeared in a cloud of illusion. This was Merlin. He had sent his henchmen to kidnap Princess Fiona, being trapped in his tower by the wicked Ice Queen who had cast a spell on him. He sought an ally who could free him. While she spread her evil over the land, he was caught, stuck. The source of his powers was in his crystal ball, and the Ice Queen had stolen it from him. Shrek was furious. What does this have to do with me and Princess Fiona, he said. Give her back to me. But Merlin only laughed, not until you do me a favor, Ogre. Merlin was too weak to deal with the Ice Queen from his tower, and his henchmen wouldn't stand a chance against her. But Shrek would. Find the Ice Queen and get me my crystal ball, Merlin said. Then you will get your Princess Fiona back, and I will be free. They both knew Shrek had no choice. Follow the trail of snow and ice, Merlin said before he vanished. It will lead you to her. Shrek put the candles out and locked the door and ventured into the woods close to his home to begin his search for the Ice Queen and Merlin's crystal ball. Use the C stick to change your view. Press the Z button to get a closer look. Okay, meet me at the Ogre Training Pits. <laughs> oh, no, you don't. Go back to the jumping grounds. Hey, oh. Shrek, come up here. You can jump by pressing the <gasps> A button. Jump towards a wall. When you hit it, jump again to do a wall jump. Now come <gasps> on up here. Well uh. done. I'll meet you in the combat arena. Yeah. Yeah. Let's get started. Jump down into the pit. Press the Y button to punch. Go on, give him a great. Now try kicking him. Well done. You can grab your enemies by pressing the X button. Try it. Good work. Okay, meet me in the fire pit. <laughs> to fill your gas meter, eat some of those onions. 
Expel some gas by pressing the R button slightly. You can stun your enemies by expelling gas upon them. Try it out. Eat a chili pepper and press the R button all the way to burp flames. Good! Excellent! You can also create an explosion by pulling and holding the L button and expelling gas with the R button. Great! You're ready for anything now. Go back to the house and jump into the mirror. Go back to the house and jump into the mirror. Pull and hold the L button to run. Press the A button to perform a long jump while running. Ooh. Come on, jump in. You're here to steal candy from me, too! Well, those blasted merry men took it all. It's been like this ever since the Ice Queen took over Sweetsville. And candy got scarce. I should know. I pass the village when I go to Granny. But that's not gonna happen again until I get my basket with candy back. Shrek found Little Red in the woods, and she was very upset, to say the least. Ever since the Ice Queen took over Sweetsville, everything's been in chaos. I want my basket with candy back. Since Red seemed to know the way to Sweetsville, where the Ice Queen resided, Shrek figured it might be a good idea to help her out. I'll help you if you'll help me, he said. The magic mirror has a message for Shrek. The magic mirror has been reading his paper. Run away! Him. 
him. Unhand me. Ow. Ow. Close to the bridge, two funny-looking kids wanted to get across, but had trouble with a troll. We want to have a nibble at the gingerbread house, but the troll won't let us pass. The troll snarled at them. No way! After them goats trashed me up real bad, I've opened this toll thingy. This way, no one passes without my permission. Shrek, having always thought that trolls gave ogres a bad reputation, decided to deal with this. Whoa! 
said Shrek when he found ye old onion of greater gas. With this in my belly, there's not a single door in the world I can't open. Shrek recalled that Princess Fiona once pointed out to him that there were other ways of opening doors, but he didn't remember the details and quickly dismissed it as nonsense. Must be Red's basket, Shrek thought. Now, where's the candy? I need to fill this with the goodies before I give it back to her. But most likely the merry men had spread it out all over the woods. Better get going then, Shrek said to himself. Oh, <gasps> 
if it isn't my basket. So anyway, if you're so desperate to find the Ice Queen, which I think is a bad idea, you just take that way through Mother Goose Land. You'll get to Sweetsville. Good luck. Uh, hey, Ogre! Stop right there! Be you an ally with the Ice Queen? Oh, bet he is! He's all green and stuff! This means that you are under, uh... Under uh, arrest! Uh, Friends uh, of the uh, Ice Queen are not welcome here! Excuse me, you there. Would you mind getting my children for me, please? As Shrek approached the nest of the great gander, he saw that something was wrong. My egg kids have been tricked by that wicked Humpty Dumpty character, the gander explained. He's teaching them how to fall off walls. Shrek frowned. Really? I'll get them and put them back in your nest in no time. Kids shouldn't be running around with eggheads at this hour anyway. Would you mind getting my children for me, please? 